for today's code, I'm going to show you how you can light up three different lights using a micro bit. So this is an LED board. It has five lights on it, and I've connected three of them to the micro bit. I've connected them to pin zero, pin one, and pin two on the positive side of the light. On the negative side of the light, I've used three alligator clips and connected them to the ground, or the GND. It's a complicated process, and we're not going to get into how to connect everything today. You just need to know that there's a light on pin zero, a light on pin one, and a light on pin two. They're each going to light up in turn with the code that we're making. So let me show you the code and how you can um, program your micro bit to light up three different lights in a sequence or a pattern. To start this code, I'm going to go into the input drawer and pull out an on button A pressed code block. I need to then go into the advanced section, scroll down to pins, and I need to pull out a digital write pin zero to zero code block to turn the lights off and on. I snap that into the on button A pressed block. Next, I'm going to add a pause from the basic drawer. I'm going to snap that under the digital write pin code block. I don't want it to blink super fast, so I'm going to change it from 100 to 200 milliseconds. I need another digital write pin 0 to 0 code block from the pins section. I put that under the pause. And then I'm going to go back into basic and get another pause 100 that I'm going to change to 200. Now to turn the light on and off, I need to change that first zero where it says digital write pin zero to zero. I need to change that zero to a one so the light turns on. And then the second zero is where the light turns off. Now on my iPad, I can press and hold this whole um, code block and duplicate it. Or you can right click if you're on a regular computer. Then I'm going to drag all those code blocks and put them under the first set of code blocks. I need to change pin 0 to pin 1 for my second light, and now my code is written so that two lights will turn on and off. I'm going to delete that on button A pressed. I'm going to go back and hold and duplicate all of those code blocks, or again right click and duplicate them. I'm going to drag all the code blocks under the first set. I'm going to change pin 0 to pin 2, that's for my third light. And then I can drag off those code blocks that I don't need, drag them to the left and delete them. The next thing I want to do is put in a repeat loop so that the lights will turn on and off multiple times, not just once. So I'm going to repeat four times from the loops drawer and I'm just going to click it at the very top of my code that's under on button A pressed. Now to see what happens on the emulator, I'm going to uh, make my emulator full screen. When I push button A, you're going to see pin 0, 1, and 2 light up. They're going to change orange and the 0 changes to a 1 when they're on, and it will do it four times. So you can see if your code works. When you push button A, 0, 1, and 2 down there at the bottom should be lighting up. 